Welcome to the All of One channel. I'm Kelly Rosano, and this is the Leo New Moon and Star of David. There is so much happening. I'm filming this today on Sunday, the 28th of July, and tomorrow on the 29th, we have what is called the Star of David. Now, this is extraordinary astrology, what's happening right now. And when you tune into it, it it's, it's the love of God that's pouring through all of us. And so there's so much happening. I mean, it's just like, okay, where do I start? Where do I begin? Do I talk about the Star of David? Do I talk about the T-square with Jupiter and Pluto and Uranus? What about the finger of God that's on the sun with Pluto and Uranus pointing to the sun, which is saying, are you to get on a new life path? For many of us, it's about embarking on a new life path, jumping on and getting into a new life, literally reincarnating without changing bodies, taking all of your wisdom that you've learned so far in your life and starting a new path, starting a new beginning. And the universe supports you. Father God loves you. Mother God loves you. The ascended masters love you. The universe loves you. You are supported. And the astrology reveals that. So if we look at the star David, which is two grand trines. So we've got one grand trine going this way, and then we've got another grand trine going this way. <laughs> and they're overlapping each other. Okay, so we've got the giant grand trine between Saturn and Scorpio, looking at our reality, embodying our truth, living from our truth, trining Neptune, your highest ideals, your ideal living location, your ideal relationship, your ideal job, your ideals, your dreams, your fantasies. Without dreams, the people perish. Your dreams matter, your dreams count. Over to Jupiter. Big, fat Jupiter, the biggest planet in our solar system. Make it bigger, make it better. Jupiter and Cancer. What do I feel? What do I need? Who makes me happy? What makes me happy? Do I make me happy? <laughs> okay, and so Jupiter is trining Saturn and Neptune. So that's one grand trine. Well, it's very feminine. So that's the Divine Mother coming in here, nurturing you, telling you you're unconditionally loved. Your perfection is in your imperfection. You, Mother God is downloading her cosmic estrogen onto all of us to soothe us, to bathe us in the nourishment. Now, one of the challenges with a grand trine like this, and I'm noticing this with the feedback I'm getting from clients is, it doesn't, you know, make you want to take action. So when I say, well, how are you doing with your health? How are you doing, you know, physically, right? Oh, I don't feel like working out. I haven't been really looking at my diet. You know, I don't feel like working out. Okay, because that's kind of what the, the trying can do with us is, is nourish us and nurture us, but also we just kind of lay back. We don't do anything with it. We're just kind of hanging here. And so, um, just checking my mic. Okay, and so, so, you know, so we've got this nourishing and nurturing energy, but it's really not compelling us to do anything. You know, it's like you got to psych yourself up or, you know, to be really disciplined and make yourself work out. Okay. Because you're being nourished and nurtured by the cosmic estrogen. So it doesn't, you know, call you to action. Then we also have, which is very rare, a grand earth trine overlapping it that goes exact tomorrow. Now, just because it's going on over this weekend and goes exact tomorrow in the next couple days, that doesn't mean the energy dissipates. The energy is with you all summer. Now, the Grand Earth Trine is between powerful Pluto. Am I going to own my power? Am I going to be an empowered woman? Am I going to be an empowered man? Am I going to be powerful? Trining Venus, goddess of love, beauty, abundance, wealth, what you like, what you love, what you truly value in Virgo, earth, trining the moon in Taurus, money, wealth, stability. So this is excellent 
overlaying the water because the water like I said is very spiritual very intuitive very nourishing and nurturing but it doesn't call us to action the grand earth is father God coming in here going I will give you the resources you need I will give you the abundance you desire as Jesus said I have come to give life and that more abundantly you are here to have an abundant life that's abundance in financial security financial independence in uh, the materials you need to do what you're here to do whatever it is you're here to be and do and become Leo the the universe supports you the universe is compelling you to take action in your life now Mercury is direct Saturn is direct it's now time to take action and make your dreams real so the grand earth is father God saying I've got your back I will support you here are the resources now it does require us to be in alignment with our soul so if I'm over here going oh well I want to be a 20 year old movie star <laughs> God's gonna say how do you spell fat chance okay because I'm long gone past 20 all right so you got to be realistic in what you want and is it in your soul agreements it all comes down to the soul agreements and that is what your soul knows yes the chart is very revealing in who you've come to be what you've come to do it, so having your natal astrology analyzed is very helpful to understand what you're doing now even now it helps to understand your natal chart but it does come down to the soul agreements of what we've agreed to do so we've got these we've got this incredible cosmic star of David in our lives empowering everyone not just the one percent to get more greedy and needy but the 99 percent to wake up take your power back and make the government work for you make the institutions work for you the power is being given to the individual but we have to take it we can't just sit back right no one's gonna do those push-ups but me <laughs> even if I don't feel like doing them right we have to psych ourselves up we have to be disciplined and do what we got to do right and so it is amazing what's happening now now there's also a t-square in this uh, grand uh, grand uh, six-pointed star star of David there's also a t-square now I don't look at trines and, and squares as good or bad because again if you're sitting there eating bonbons and you're not doing your exercises you're gonna get fat on trines so how's that helpful right but a square compels you to change a square compels you to take action an opposition shows you oh man what am I doing what am I looking at here what's going on with me okay so oppositions and squares may be challenging but we need challenges to compel us to get up and take action to take right action to take healthy action so we've got we've got the the uh, earth grand trine overlapping the water grand trine and we've got Jupiter opposing Pluto squaring Uranus <laughs> it just doesn't stop now this is going to be going on uh, until Jupiter moves off in um, 2014 okay and when the smaller moving planets come along they fill in the T square and now it becomes a grand square which is four squares two oppositions so we not only have the star David going on but in that star David we have a T square with Jupiter off of Pluto and Uranus so Jupiter is in Cancer forming a powerful T-square with challenging Pluto and Uranus from August 7th through the 21st this aspect will invoke dynamic changes in the areas of life of growth that is needed for all of us okay none of us okay we're all ascending all right what does that mean we're all ascending we're expanding in consciousness we're raising in vibration we're coming into who we really are we're walking our talk we're living our power we're living from the inside out and that means we have to continuously be changing there's no cruise control in this energy there's no just I'm just gonna chill here I'm comfortable here I'm just gonna chill here okay you're either spiraling up ascending or you're spiraling down descending there's no more cruise control we're either moving forward or we're spiraling down and again it's all free will choice so the growth is needed so that we become who we agree to be we become our authentic self we live from our heart we live from our inner truth we live from who we really are real growth requires real change real growth can be painful okay pain is not the enemy 
Pain means you're growing. Pain means you need to look at something and change it. And the squares compel us to do that. And that's why they're so essential. Well, you know, the sun is the center of the universe. Uh, and the Leo new moon on August 6th reminds us that, that you are the star of your life. The sun is the ruling planet of Leo. The sun is what drives the entire chart. No, what, no matter what chart you're looking at, you always start with the sun because it drives the entire chart. The sun, just like it's the center of the universe and everything rotates around it, the sun is the center of the chart and it drives the entire chart. Well, I'm going to look at the Star Diva chart that goes exact here in Denver tomorrow on the 29th at 3.42 in the afternoon here in Denver. The sun has a finger of God pointing at it, okay? So God is pointing at the sun. It's being in conjunct by Pluto. It's being in conjunct by Neptune. Pluto and Neptune are sextiling, and they're pointing to the sun. Pluto is power. Neptune is your ideals, what you dream about. It's your spirituality. God is saying, be who you've come to be. It is time to claim your throne. It is time to claim who you are. It is time to walk in your power and be empowered and share your light and shine your light and and go for it go for your dreams go for what you want it is an amazing astrology now venus goddess of love and beauty is sextiling mars so the divine lovers are at it the divine lovers are in harmony mars is in cancer harmonizing with venus venus is sextiling mars sextiling jupiter She's in sextile with Saturn. Saturn's in sextile with Pluto. Pluto's in sextile with Uranus. We got a whole lot of sextile going on. Okay, opportunities. Sextiles mean opportunities. Now, they're not a trine. You can't just sit back and have it come to you. You got to take some action. But with action comes results. What do you want to manifest? What do you want to become? But let's be realistic about it. You know what I'm saying is, is don't reach for something that you know isn't really your soul's calling. You want to be reaching for things that, you know, maybe two steps ahead of you, you see, so that you're jumping up a couple of steps to get where you want to go. And this energy is totally supporting you. The universe loves you. The universe supports you. The universe is empowering you to take action, take charge of your life, be a leader of your life. Go for your dreams and you will be supported. You will find that people come and help you. The money comes in, that new opportunities come to you. The law of attraction is always working. So if we're positive, we're going to attract positive to us. If we are projecting strength and love, we are going to attract to us loving people who want to work with us, who want to share with us, who want to be with us. And that's what Aquarius is. Everyone goes to the party. Not just the 1% is wealthy. We're all wealthy and we can do it. We have the technology right now to get off oil and, 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 and have our needs met. When your basic needs are met, you can climb Maslow's hierarchy to self-actualization. You can become your best version of yourself. And that's what it's all about. In the age of Aquarius, it isn't just the few that have it and we all want to be them. We're all trying to be movie stars. We're all trying to be Kim Kardashian. No, everyone has abundance. And as that becomes the norm, then we spend all our time in creativity. We spend all our time inventing things, creating things, bringing out our true talent, gifts, and abilities. And that's what the Leo new moon, which is a delicious, fantastic new moon for everyone. Because the Leo new moon falls in your chart somewhere where you have Leo. And for Leos, happy birthday, because this is a wonderful new moon chart and you're not going to get another one until 2014 but it's good for everyone because for instance if you're a Scorpio it falls in your 10th house which means you're going to get a boost in your career if you're a Taurus it falls in your fourth house which means you're going to have a strong happy foundation and the ability to um, the ability to create positive relationships in your family life, in your home life. So wherever this falls in your chart is where you're being empowered. So the Leo new moon on August 6th is a, a reminder that you are the star of your life. 
you are the sun center of your universe. Just like the sun is the center of the universe and everything rotates around it, you are the center of your life and we're all rotating around you. If you want us to treat you differently, then you need to project a different you. We change on the inside what we want to see change on the outside. So Leo rules the heart or the heart can rule Leo. In other words, Leo is to shine her light, his light on everyone, not just the object of your affection. That's what, you know, it would be like the sun just shining on Colorado. No, the sun shines all over the planet. Okay. And so for Leos, it's about you shining your love light energy on everyone, that humanity, it's being in love with humanity. Now, I love this uh, Leo new moon because it is in positive aspect with Uranus. It doesn't have any challenging aspects. Both lights, sun and moon, are in harmony with Uranus, the awakener, the planet of unpredictability, but it also brings sudden opportunities, sudden breakthroughs. It can bring you new relationships, new business opportunities, new ideas, new inventions. This is a positive energy being poured into you and we're building towards it. We just came from the Aquarius full moon on July 20th and now we're building towards the Leo new moon which is very positive while we're dancing in the Star of David. And it is this energy that's pouring into everyone right now. This is dynamic, it is uplifting, it is empowering and you want to focus on what is working in your life. You want to focus on what is positive in your life. And from that focus, you build new positive. You attract new things that are good for you. You reinforce what is already strong and sturdy in your life. And that's what is an empowered person is. That's what this is about, is about being the best version of you, being empowered, being authentic. Authentic love is being who we really are. So this is a wonderful time. August is an amazing month. It can be a breakthrough month. You can make incredible changes in your life at this time. Now, Mercury the messenger enters Leo on August 8th. And I don't know about you, but I'm really glad to see Mercury leave Cancer. That stay in Cancer, I mean, talk about being in reverse and trying to swim in the water. It was just you know, you feel like you were just dropped in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean and Neptune said, swim, <laughs> you know, and with Mercury, you don't know if you're going forward or backwards while it's uh, retrograde. And it's been in its shadow period uh, all this time too. So even though it went direct um, in July, it's still been in the shadow period. It's, it comes out of the shadow period on August 4th. So by the new moon, we really are in a new life. We're stepping into a new life and Mercury is direct, Mercury is now in Leo, so it'll be easier for us to articulate our thoughts, it'll be easier for us to express our feelings, it'll be easier for us to express what we know. But the time in Cancer was very valuable too. It was more about coming to understand what you really need and what you really feel. And that is important because feelings matter, feelings count. So. The cycle in Cancer was very important because we had an opportunity to look at what we feel and what we need. Now in Leo, it's time to be expressive. It's time to be creative. This could be the most creative new moon in 2013. You can literally recreate your life now. You can create a new business. You can create a new relationship. You can create a new living location. You can create a new body. Whatever it is your heart is desiring, you can create it. The universe supports you. The energy is here. And yes, it goes exact on the 29th, but that grand water trine is gonna be with us all summer. It's showing up in everybody's solar return charts, all the Cancers and the Leos and the Virgos. It's showing up in your, re, your solar return charts, which means it's with you for an entire year. So it's going to be with us for some time to come. Now you can use this energy to create the life you want, but you do have to take action. Now Venus enters uh, Libra on August 16th, and she's very happy to be in her home sign Libra. So it's, yay, Venus, come on home, yay. Now the challenge is 
Libra fills in that le le uh, missing leg to the Cancer, Capricorn, Aries. So when something steps into Libra, bam, we got a grand square, two oppositions, four squares. This is very challenging. So with Venus, she will be facing off with Jupiter, Uranus, and Pluto August 24th through the 27th. This is our opportunity to now look at, so in Cancer, we were to look at what our feelings were and what we needed. Now in Libra, Libra, we want to look at what is our true values? What is it that we really value? What is it that we love? What is it that we cherish? And are you willing to fight for it? Are you willing to stand up for it? Are you willing to be uncomfortable for it? Growth is painful. We have to get out of our comfort zone. I know I have to do things that get me out of my comfort zone and I feel it. It's like, oh, especially as you become more spiritual and more psychic and intuitive, you become more sensitized to everything. Sensitized to traffic, sensitized to people fighting, sensitized to negative energy. It's like, whoa, right? And so, so we, but if you're driving in traffic, you have to drive through it. You got to, you can't, you know, you got to have a life. You got to, you have to travel, right? So, so it's about creating that balance and knowing that, okay, I'm stronger than any force that comes at me. Remember, you are stronger than any force outside of you. Creator wouldn't send you here without the tools to manage your life and to live to your greatest potential. So remember, no matter what's out there, you are stronger on the inside, but you will have to do the exercises to balance, ground, pull your strength from the inside out. Pull your strength from the inside and have it shield you from the negativity in the world. So this is an excellent time to evaluate your true values. What really matters to you? What makes your heart sing? And, you know, we want to be open to the new opportunities now because this energy is birthing the new you. It's birthing the new earth. Gaia is ascending back to her Garden of Eden state. We are ascending. In the age of Aquarius, everyone goes to the party. Everyone is abundant. Everyone has something to look forward to. Not like it is now with the duality. So don't evaluate your life by good or bad. That's duality. Evaluate your life by what's working, what's missing, you know, what do I need to do to make my life more comfortable, make my life more abundant, make my life more joyful? Look at things from that perspective because when you do the, oh, I got a square, it's bad, oh, I got a trine, that's good, it may not be. And it's duality. It keeps you in limited thinking. Go to triality consciousness, mutuality consciousness, fifth dimension consciousness. Everything that's happening is for my highest good. If I learn from my mistakes, if I learn from my failures. And success is not the absence of failures. Successful people mean we didn't give up. That's the only difference. Remember, genius is 2% brains, 98% hard work. The distinction between people that are successful and people that don't make it are the people that are successful are resilient. They never gave up. It's the only difference. So this energy is here to support you. This Leo new moon is the birth of the new you. It's the birth of the new earth. It's the birth of the new energy. It's the birth of the new age. It's the new earth emerging where we all go to the party. We all celebrate life. We all have something to share. Every one of us has unique talents and abilities that only you can deliver. Only you can shine your light. Only you can deliver your talents and your abilities to the rest of us. Only you. And so use this energy to feel your power. Be empowered. Don't get distracted by the negativity of others. Don't get distracted by the news. Look at what you're doing. Ask yourself, does this balance me? Then do it. Watching the news, does that balance you? No. Then don't do it. Do what balances you. Stay balanced. Stay grounded. This energy is pouring cosmic light into everyone. It's literally changing our DNA structure. It's literally changing your, your contracts, the way your brain works, the way your mind is wired. You can change your stars. You can change your karma in this energy. If you don't like the way your life is going, rewrite it. Change your contracts. You are the master of your destiny. 
you can change it so that it's more reflective of who you are today. That's what authentic love is, is being who we really are, shining our light, being authentic. You can do this. Use this energy to make your life the way you want it. And remember, don't stop believing. Hold on to that feeling. Journey. Yeah.